just getting started. Uh, actually waiting to see if uh, my buddy Kevin is going to join me to chat or talk on the phone while this is going. So, uh, don't mind the banner image for a minute. Hard in the dust. Just going to be a minute or two. Enjoy some good music. Listen to my furnace turning on. All the good stuff. Configuration quality is excellent. I love that. Oh, listen to all that fire. I'm gonna have to listen to this later to see how much of that is actually picked up by the mic now. a minute ago where Photoshop was quitting out on me. It was crashing on me, but just because I left my computer running for a couple days and was mad. But we'll see if that happens. If it does, I'm trying not to lose too much work, but worst case, we could just play some games. People do that on Twitch, right? It seems like the correct thing to do. <laughs> Our 
friend Kevin has too many ports for his mic. What a, what a problem to have. Cool. I think we're good to go. Eight mic ports. I think I'm starting to get a couple myself now. I upgraded my microphone between now and the last stream. Mm -hmm. And uh, that may be, may be good or bad. I mean, it's probably going to be good. I can't imagine it being bad. But it's going to be a little bit different. Just, uh, excuse me. From, from what I've heard from friends of mine at work talking to them about different mics of this, this kind is just it's going to wind up picking up more ambient room audio, which I kind of have a lot of, I'm assuming, down here in the basement with the, the furnace kicking in and stuff. I turned off the dehumidifier while this is going, just to figure that would be... Save, save us a couple steps of woe. Yo, dude, time zones. Sorry, I should have mentioned uh, Eastern Time, 9 p.m. EST, but I'm glad you checked. <laughs> How's it going, man? Since you guys are here, uh, let me know how music volume compared to mic volume seems, if everything is good. I, I checked it a bunch before starting, so I feel like things might be decent, but, um, you know, stuff is always, stuff is always a little bit out of whack. Starting up usually takes a little bit of tweaking. Alright, Kevin may have figured out his scenario. Uh, It might be easiest, dude, for you to, um, for you to try and add me on Curse, or if I can, I can take a minute and try to find you on there too, because I know you're, I've only used it once before, but you might be, I mean, the newer person to that application, so, let me know whatever you want to do, we'll sort it out. Yeah, last time I did a page, I got all done. Music is really loud. Huh, alright. That's crazy. Turning the music down. I'm gonna actually adjust the gain on the mic. How does that sound, Kevin? Let me know what you think, man. Can you hear me now? 
Any luck? Turn this up too. <clears throat> it might be mumbling too, which doesn't help. Can you hear me now? What's the sound? Let me know. That dang chat lag. You guys are helping me troubleshoot my new microphone. This is great. You guess it's good. I can do. You, I can turn the. I can turn the mic up louder still if you want. You guess. Don't settle for. Don't settle for. I guess, man. It could be much better. Okay, we'll run with it. I'm in like a, a minute lag behind you guys and your reactions, so hopefully it wasn't good and then I turned it way up. <laughs> but let me know. I'll uh, I'll quit fiddling for a minute. And yeah. This is how This is how the donuts get made, so to speak. You gotta fiddle around. Maybe a little louder, sure. I don't know how much microphone fiddling comes through when I touch that. It might sound too loud. But yeah, just keep me posted. If it's sounding weird. I can almost guarantee if somebody else comes in, they'll probably say, "No, it's too. No, it's too loud." But that's okay. You guys are here. You're the ones who matter. Kevin, let me know when you got your um, your stuff ready. Because I want I want to hear the surprise you have in store. Setting up curse. All right, sweet. Good man. Good man, Blasto. things the hard way and then you forget the quick and easy way for a minute. Whoa. I wonder if you can hear it but the cats are running around upstairs. They're crazy. Yeah, I'm getting friend requested by my friend. I might actually turn the music off on you when we get this thing going, just so uh, there's no distractions. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is how I do the comic stuff in the Photoshop. Uh, once, so I only have, I only have this page and one more page after this to do until, um, the Halloween Forever comic is wrapped up. And after that, I'm going to be going back to doing some game stuff. So it should be, I'm probably going to be doing a bit of, uh, excuse me, some pixel art stuff again. Um, probably do some new stuff. Yeah, let's do the voice call. Mr. Cablasto? Hello, can I hear you? Kevin, are you there? I think you did the right thing. Hang on. Let me um let me make the screen private for a second. Whoops. Oops. Pardon our dust. Uh, I can't hear you. I'm turning your volume up. Talk to me some more. Hang on, I gotta, go, I gotta type in the chat. Yeah. 
Hey. Whoa, hang on, let me turn let me turn off this <laughs> Let me turn this internet music off. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hang on a second. Except Hello. What's up? What's up, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> it sounds just like you, but... <laughs> there's a delay. Can you... I wonder if there's any way you can... Or maybe I'll just turn the... Yeah, turn there's the, a huge delay. Oh, there is? <laughs> I'm going to turn the audio up on my end a little bit, or maybe, uh, let me know if that e explodes the stream. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really weird. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we'll just have to take turns speaking. And you, you can still type in the chat, too. Yeah. Your voice changed again. Yeah. Is there is there less of a delay while you're uh, in normal mode? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go that. <laughs> ah, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm on. I'm on the phone with uh, my internet grandpa. Ah. You sound demented. <laughs> you sound like a sick baby. This is my normal squeaky voice. <laughs> Old squeaky voice. <laughs> Put my internet grandpa on the phone. Where did where did the um? How many how many of these things do you have? You just sound like you're crying. Oh, Did you get your bearings, Internet Grandpa? You're feeling better now? Anytime it just laughs like you normally, it sounds really messed up. <laughs> Man, I'm not going to get anything done tonight. This is perfect. So, so what's new? <laughs> Let's see what else. I've got like 50 million of this. 50, this 50 million. This one. All right. <laughs> let's just let's just have a normal conversation with one of these things on. A, a normal conversation. Hang on, I'm, I'm already yeah. crying tears of laughter. <laughs> okay. Well, let me try deactivating it for a minute and see if it speeds up at all. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I mean, like we could do a normal conversation with the with the kooky voice, but we could also talk. Okay. I, yeah. No, I I know. I just want to see if it's if there's less lag. Yeah. This is a radio show now. Boom. It didn't seem like there's less lag, so I'm just going back to the vocal change thing. Okay. <laughs> isn't this isn't this past your curfew, young man? Shouldn't you be asleep and, and doing your homework for school? Kim cracking up from downstairs. Yeah. Oh man, who let the smoker on the line? Is 
Those things are those things are gonna kill you, man. This makes you actually sound like a real band. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sound like a real man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh my god. It's too funny. So Kim is downstairs just like laughing at you. What else is new? This one's an orc. Let's try elf now. Orc and elf. This one's an elf. Good. <laughs> yeah, basically. She always does that. <laughs> That's hilarious. I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings. It's Peter Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, this one's dwarf. Let's see. <laughs> it's, it's dwarf? Duh. <laughs> I, it's like I've got Mel Blanc on the line, the man of a thousand voices. Dwarf sucks. I switched to somebody else. Yeah, that's that's typically what an elf would say. Dwarf suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious because it still has your your everyday mannerism to it. <laughs> this one's alien bro. Let's see what alien. Infiltrator sounds like. Alien Infiltrator? <laughs> Let's see what Alien Infiltrator sounds like. <laughs> if, you, if you leave this one on, I feel like we can, we can continue having a conversation. Because <laughs> at least I can sound like that one. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is going to be two hours of us laughing at each other. <laughs> alien, alien infiltrator. <laughs> I can't handle it, man. <laughs> this is the stuff that... <laughs> this is the stuff of my dreams. <laughs> Pull it together, alien infiltrator. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like you're being shaken. Somebody's just holding your shoulders and shaking you back and forth. <laughs> I, I, I switched to old man. Now I'm on. <laughs> old man is terrible. Oh, oh. Now I'm on emo. Emo? Like, they have a dedicated voice for emo? <laughs> emo just levels up! And now I'm unstable! Unstable! <laughs> unstable, I, I think unstable and alien infiltrator are the best so far. You, you gotta bookmark those. <laughs> so bad. Oh man, so for anybody that might be watching this, I've got my my buddy Kevin on the line and he's got a voice modulator and we're we're trying to make each other pee our pants laughing. <laughs> Say something, man. You're just, you're just laughing. This one is called from up north. I don't know what that means, but we'll say. <laughs> from up north. I don't know either, eh? That's pretty good. What they can do with a little bit of technology. Uh, it, it like it like raises everything I say up at the end, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, so it's good. So this is what it's like to have a friend who's in the witness protection program. This is the kind of stuff I have to deal with every day. 
Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this one is. It's just deep voice. Yeah. Deep voice. <laughs> let's see how this one is. Kinda sounds like a fart. But I like that. That's cool. It's a good one. I'd, I'd bookmark it. I can't hear you on that one, though. You can't hear me with the headphones on? Which one, Deep Voice? <laughs> <laughs> deep Voice is good. What's this one? No, no, no. I was talking to Kim. Oh. She's, she's trying to talk to me. I have headphones on, so I can't hear her. <laughs> <laughs> this one's Munchkin. Munchkin. It's a great board game. Card game, even. Everybody loves Munchkin. Uh, now I'm a demon again. So I don't know how much I exploit this one. Yeah, Honestly. I'm a demon again. I guess. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Of all the things we're doing on a Monday night. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> hey, I went to the Scrappy Kid. Let's see what Scrappy Kid is. <laughs> oh man, I'm still wiping tears out of my eyes. <laughs> Scrappy Kid is really good. Scrappy Kid is sounds like sounds like a dude I'd want to hang out with on the playground. <laughs> Scrappy Kid is definitely <laughs> the guy you want on your four square team. Kid. Oh, you can double them up. <laughs> That's pretty good too. You sound kind of like a like a <laughs> like a bag of coins. Yeah, that was just a mess. Hey, so I guess I'm gonna go back to unstable. <laughs> Go back to unstable. <laughs> you know, you call. <laughs> you could call up a helpline if you needed. Could that? <laughs> and the call early. <laughs> I think so. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> That's the point, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to do just trying to do some art and do some self-help for uh, all the unstable kids on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you haven't trolled me yet. <laughs> It's it's bizarre because I'll just be talking. <laughs> oh, thanks, unstable kid. Oh, it's really really good to know that people are out there appreciating my work. And uh, all levels of stableness in their life. <laughs> oh, sh eyelashes are coming out. Oh my god. Whoa. That's what I look forward to in streaming. Have a good cry. Half the time when I'm laughing, I'm laughing about hearing my own voice. <laughs> I know, it's pathetic. <laughs> or then, then you start laughing at something that was like funny half a minute ago. And then I'm like, why is Kevin losing his shit laughing? <laughs> and I start laughing because of that. <laughs> good voice. 
Yeah. Well, that, I'll do it. That's, I'll do it. That's good. So who who is this guy? I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah. What's what's the name yeah, of this actor? I, I start laughing because you're laughing, and then I can have Tim downstairs laughing. So I start laughing at that. <laughs> You heard your unstable yeah, grandkids like. start laughing. <laughs> oh my god. I need to keep like a tissue around. Oh, it's too funny. Oh, it's like about Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart. It sounds like Jimmy Stewart. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that it's movie with the. The movie with the invisible rabbit. That was a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Stewart's on the line. This is awesome. Whoops. The one and only... Yeah, uh, I can't remember that. <laughs> uh, I am uh, uh, uh. old. Uh. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're like channeling Dana Carvey from that like 25-year-old show where he was doing the Jimmy Stewart impression. <laughs> Lots of practice. Oh, it's pulling uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I wonder if I can. I'm gonna see if I can turn the music on. Nah, actually, nah. I'm just gonna leave it. Because otherwise, we'll be doing too much. Too much download. Yeah, Father in heaven, I'm not praying, man, but if you're up there, you can hear me. <laughs> Show me the way. Show me the way. <laughs> Go into the light, Jimmy. Oh, Get your unstable grandkid back on the line. He was a he was a trip. I love that dude. Alright, let's see. What are the other good voices? <laughs> what are the other different voices? <laughs> hey mister! Your hair looks like shit. Hey, hey! Get back into preschool, you teenage punk. You internet no good. How'd you get on this line? This is a this is a, a phone call for <laughs> mature discourse only. <laughs> Feels rated R for rude. <laughs> R for rude. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I don't much like rude teens crashing my channel, punk. <laughs> From the Muppets. It sounds like somebody's crying. Because we just hear like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I have tried this one. This one's Maureen. I'm sure it's going to be stupid. More. It'll just be like a stupid gruff voice. Maureen? That's a really deep sound for a lady's voice. I don't know if you can see it, but my glasses are fogging up from how much I'm laughing. <laughs> Maureen. Maureen. Maureen? Uh. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, uh. I'll make the video larger. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious if somehow like the uh, audio is coming uh, no. through. Up north, I mean. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it would be hilarious if yeah, there's no audio, <laughs> and it's just like you cracking up, drawing pumpkin man, <laughs> crying, you think you lost your mind. laughing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be like this will be like the time that I broadcast and my dad turns it on. And he's gonna be like, Pete, or is everything alright? <laughs> are you doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where's Dad? Dad's a jealous. Dad? Is that you, Dad? Uh, Munchkin's annoying. I don't like Munchkin. <laughs> uh, the voice. 
<laughs> no, he's dead. <laughs> I'm saying he's dead, not dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, unstable kid. I don't want to make you upset or more unstable. <laughs> I know you're probably going through a lot during your free period. I know. <laughs> well, it's like I'll say something and I'll like wait patiently and then just hear laughing and then it's the, <laughs> it's the same thing on your end. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Because, I don't know, because we're using multiple programs, or, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a handful of, I mean, there's a handful of things that go into running this. Let me actually close Steam. I don't know why that's open. I keep trying to close it. Get out of here, punk. I don't know if that's going to stop Curse from working. Does Skype give you errors whenever you try to use it? Uh, yeah, we could try it again. Just it, it, it throws this weird, like, flash error at me. Do you want to give that a shot? Oh. Uh, sure, we can. Let me... Give me a second to <laughs> log in and... Push on the to get installed on this computer. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you a minute. <laughs> Are, are we ready? Are we ready to go, unstable kid? Yeah. It, it, okay, I'm in. All right. And I think you and I, yeah, we're already friends, Heather. Yeah. Let me let me uh, make the the video. I'll, I'll hang up the curse and call you on that. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it a try. <laughs> God, this is hilarious. This is the kind of thing that's like funny for me only. <laughs> I love it. All right, trying to Skype it up. See how that works. See if there's less of a delay. Oh, and hopefully. Oh, oh don't call that guy. Call this guy. Hello? You there? Oh, let me quit this. Exit. Yo, dude. I can faintly hear you. I can't hear you. Let me, um, actually, hang on. Try talking now. I don't know why headphone audio is set like so low. Hmm. Tricky stuff. Did you try turning up your, your mic gain on your side? Actually, let me, um, but you can hear me right, all right. So give us a minute just to make sure everything's okay. Says my stream configuration quality is excellent again. That's wonderful. Good time to save Photoshop. All right, 
I'm still trying to get Unstable Kid back on the line. Hopefully he can join us. And I'm not getting that Skype error that I was before. That is a welcome thing. Oh, hang on. Did, uh... Let me type this in. Oh, that was really loud. Man, I can never tell. Did you check your mic input via Skype tester? Good old Skype. It's always good for a laugh. Let me turn Curse back on. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Test it out. Alright. Some kind of a chat delay. That's all right. Get this bad boy back up again. Oh, it makes such a nice sound when I turn it on. Uh, call it up, dude. Yo. Hi. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, hey, I can. Are you there? <laughs> yeah, I turned Hello, are you there? Hi, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Do we still have that delay? Someday. Like I said, I think it's just Twitch because I noticed it with Twitch. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess it's unavoidable. That's okay. Someday we'll all have green light and everything will be super quick. It'll be awesome. <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wait, so this is the plan, man. <laughs> you need to, uh... I, I, I formally request that you pull up some... This is as bad as, like, back in the days when we had dial-up. <laughs> it's only what? because of the dumb layers. I formally request that you pull up some some bad creepypasta and do Insecure Kid Creepypasta Story Time. <laughs> and I'll definitely pee my pants. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Hold on. <laughs> Let me find some. Oh, okay. You're so eager. So willing as a, a young a young <laughs> lad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm, I'm unstable. I'm not evil, remember? Unstable. It's a difference. I thought that's what I said. Or did I did I call you emo? I'm sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna disparage. Ooh. I think I might have found a good one. Ooh. <laughs> Um, 
I don't know, man. I'm not. I'm not that well versed enough in the, the world of creepy pastas. I know. Okay, I'm sure this is gonna be horrible. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm just gonna read this one. Go for it. Super Mario the Hunt save! <laughs> the estimated reading time for this post is 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Sounds decent. <laughs> I was bored. I was super duper bored. It was January 4th. And the New Year's resolution was to finish all my video games by today. Now that I've done that, I have no new things to play. All of a sudden, I got an email on my phone. I opened it. <laughs> I can't handle this. This is perfect. <laughs> Go on. Continue your tale. I don't know words in the front bar at the top. The subject was... Get old bootleg SNES cartridges only at today's e auction. Intrigued with the sound of a new video of games. I went to the <laughs> e auction. But the first few games I had no clue what they were, so I sort of got bored watching the screen. I was about to close and say, but I saw the text saying, Bootleg Super Mario World pop up. I decided to get it and won. Good choice. <laughs> Oh, gotta compose myself. Two weeks later, I got the Super Mario World cartridge in the mail. I was once again intrigued when I saw most of the labels turn off the cartridge. The only letters now turn off for U E R N R N D. I immediately put up the letters together and tried to think of something. After a while, I came up with the one word murder. <laughs> Lur. <laughs> oh, murder! Obviously, I still <laughs> something is still working to this day. Not that I can feel the press anymore. After all, does that word in the cartridge say at all? I was going to stop here, but I suppose I can tell you how my fate came to be. <laughs> After I put the cartridge in, the game started. Everything looked normal, except that the hills and the clouds had a slight reddish tinge to them. I opened the file selection, and there's a save file on the game already. The name of the file was... Save File 1! <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that. That's terrifying. Anyway, I looked at the file, I went to the level with the first Yoshi in it. I was walking, and as you may expect, I have played some more with some form or another. <laughs> and I don't, uh, this wasn't here. There was a small red hair with a hill with a very dark red pipe in the top. The first thing somebody would think would be something in a video game can't hurt me. It's just a video game. But people can't keep believing that. And since that time, keep I believing. Put so I looked at the pipe. I thought it would be some bootleg witch secret. But something went wrong when I was falling for around 30 seconds. When I hit the ground, Bowser was there watching me. Oh no. I seriously freaked, so I lunged for the power button. All of a sudden, the next part of the screen said, You wouldn't want to do that, would you? And the power button was deactivated. Mario and Bowser were on the screen, glaring straight at me. More text popped up saying, You want a surprise? Here! Yeah. <laughs> Bowser pulled the portal gun. No! He blasted the floor out of me, and then he blasted above the wall. They can probably figure out what happened next. This day, I'm a boom guarding the Bowser Castle. My home is in the ninth room. If any explorer finds my diary, share my story with the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the boom guarding the ninth castle. Is there even a ninth castle? <laughs> Poor, that poor boy. <laughs> what a terrible thing. <laughs> I can only think about his parents who have suffered such a loss, having lost their uh, their only child to a, a Bowser with a portal gun. 
Oh, I forgot to warn you. There's an age sensitive content warning. <laughs> this site has scary stories that may include violent or controversial themes and foul language. Consider us an R rated website. The stories here are created creatively with an 18 plus audience in mind. <laughs> but they're probably written by like 11 year olds. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a dream come true. Let me see if I have another creepy one. <laughs> that, was, uh, that, was, that was really creepy. What are the good voices? What were some of the other good voices? Oh, um. Uh, what is Scrappy Kid good? I'm trying Scrappy Kid. Scrappy Kid is good. Also, uh, Alien, Alien Invader or Alien Investor. Alien stock market broker. I can't remember what that one was. But that one was pretty decent. <laughs> oh, here's the alien infiltrator. <laughs> okay, let's see how this one is. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> alien infiltrator is like insecure kid of the of outer space. <laughs> Oh, 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 I think I found a good one. Let me go back. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, need to, you need to share this with me, the software, so I can join you on this, uh, this grand escapade. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky tales. Oh, it, it, it's just the uh, software through my operating system for my sound card. Uh, I'm sure you can get something similar. It's just the software through my operating system. Mm. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so this one's. Animal Crossing, but it's such a long fucking story. I don't know if I want to read it. Let's let's let's. Uh, let's see. We, we could we could we could move on to uh, something shorter. I'll read the first paragraph. Okay, let's test its worth. <laughs> okay, let me. Let me. <laughs> Video games. I've always been kind of a way for me to relax. <laughs> I've recently been an outlet for games in my early childhood. After recently purchasing a GameCube from a local sale and trade store near my high school, I returned back here on an early Saturday morning with my girlfriend to see if there was an affordable game I could buy. <laughs> After browsing the clearance, I come across Animal Crossing, one of my favorites. It was only eight ninety nine, so I thought this was my lucky day. I was wrong! <laughs> I was wrong! <laughs> It's not my lucky day. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Going to the cashier at the virtually empty store felt good. Just me, my girlfriend in the cashier. He was very sure with us, just telling us the price. Not even a thank you. I wouldn't let him ruin my day. We get to the car and drive home. We're excited to play this is also Jimmy and Joey Cross. We want to go inside and find my house empty. My parents had gone out for the day. Which was odd because usually they let you relax in the <laughs> Oh my god. What a rude cashier. I'm, I'm switching voices. Hold on. Okay. Do you I'm gonna try the emo voice again. I didn't. I don't feel like I gave that one a good run. Okay. <laughs> Tales of customer service with Cablasto. So I'm gonna try to do a lot of vocal changes to see if it just evens it out. 
Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that one's horrible. Uh, I'm going back to unstable. <laughs> okay, so anyway, unstable is really good. I was on an eerie vibe. Probably due to the fact that it was overcast. It been raining out all the past few days. As we go into my room, the same blue shit as my living room lit my room just enough to see the game I'm sitting in the floor. I turn on the television, pop open the console, put the game, and hop up to my bed. <laughs> It was all pretty simple. We were having a great time and everything was going normal except one thing. The screen would blow every 15 minutes or so, but it didn't really bother us. <laughs> everything was normal. We built two houses facing each other. <laughs> Typical boy-girl bonding. Tom was named Auburn, and then I proceeded to save the game and shut it off. My girlfriend had to go home at this time because it was nearing midnight, so we said her goodbyes and she left. My parents were still gone. I thought it was a bit odd. I decided to call them. They said they went to a friend's house for a get-together <laughs> and that they wouldn't be back for a day or two. A day or two? I didn't really two. bother to question them anymore, so I just hung up the phone and headed back to my room. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the epitome of a latchkey kid. My parents were gone. They said they wouldn't be back for a week. It was fine. Poor As bastard. I walked back in... <laughs> As I walked back in, I noticed my room was now pitch black due to time. But I noticed a small <laughs> orange light coming from my floor. Due to time. It was the I thought I had just forgotten to turn it off. But I decided that since it was on, I'd do a little more money making before I headed off the bed. And then turned my television back on, it was on the town map. The cursor was moved over to Town Milk Shop. I thought nothing of it. I pressed the E button, and as I did, a loud static noise moved from my television, resetting the game. A little startled, I kept my controller in hand. It took a while to load, but when I finally did, the Nintendo screen popped up. Rather than saying Nintendo, it said, we're in the same Nintendo, and it's happy animal eyes. It flashed black and white. As I got to the welcome screen, the camera was right outside Town Rook's door. The press start sign was missing. I pressed start. The screen stayed on Town Rook's door for about 30 seconds before going to black. <laughs> What kind of terrors is this kid in for? <laughs> Poor bastard. Just as I was about to get up to reset the game, <laughs> Nito being curious about what was going on with the game, Tom's face appeared on the screen. Puzzled, I got back out of the bed and found the controller. I pressed A. The chat box came I pressed A. The only thing that came up was, thanks for waiting. I was starting to get scared. But the more scared I got, the more scared I got, the more curious. I begin. I press the e button again and it cut the button. I was in a house, and this was not the character I was assigned. A loud static sound of rain was making it sound like the speakers in my television were blown. I had turned the sound down a little and continued to venture into the game. I walked outside, finding out I was in a different home than the one I had chosen. There was no sound except that of the rain, which seemed a blackish color. Oh, I opened my mailbox to find a note from Mom. I read, I'll miss you. With a music note at the bottom, I closed oh, the no. letter and continued walking in the town. His mom. Which I realized I'd been facing with weeds, like I hadn't visited in a while. I found which I meant to work thinking that the map I saw was included. I discovered all the townspeople. More pale shades than what they were before, crowded around the store. As I came up to them, they all looked at me. Their eyes were now white. I talked to Bob, one of the townspeople, but all I would say was, thanks for waiting. <laughs> As I read that over and over, a chill ran down my spine, wondering, 
what could possibly be happening? <laughs> we got to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Jesus. I went to Childbrook store. This is the first go in the game resets itself. I've had enough at this point. I turn off completely and lay down for bed. I'm a 96 year old man. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I'm a 96 year old man trying to play Animal Crossing. Oops. My girlfriend went home. Not the elderly one. Whatever. <laughs> I'm a 96 year old alien infiltrator. <laughs> <laughs> the the la the old man laughing is the worst. <laughs> the old man is terrible. <laughs> My freaking face hurts. <laughs> Story is still there, just standing there. That's okay. Like, that, right. just, uh, oh. that that oh, Mario one was killer. Oh, God. Yeah, this one's short. <laughs> Moving right along. Another spooky tale presented by Cablasto. Okay. Switching voices. Uh -huh. Identify the right voice for the right story. <laughs> this is gonna be good. This one's kind of too hard to understand. I'm switching to something else. Yeah, it's hard for me to understand the words on the, the demon. <clears throat> I'm sorry, insecure kid. You're the best. <laughs> that should make you feel less insecure. In Portland, Oregon, in 1981, oh, an no. event after arcade game appeared in several suburbs. I've never heard of it. They can do polyphemus. Polyphemus? I don't know. Poly polyphemus? It's incredibly popular to the point of addiction. A cute folder on the machine. Quickly followed by clusters of business from Men in Black, rather than the usual marketing data collected by a company, visitors to arcade machines. They collected some other data, allegedly testing responses to the psychoactive machines. <laughs> the players themselves suffered from a series of unpleasant side effects, amnesia, insomnia, nightmares, night terrors, and suicide, appearing as heavy cars <laughs> of the game in various versions of the project. Unpleasant the side effects like suicide. <laughs> became an anti-gaming activist. The end! <laughs> Where did it find it <laughs> I, I love unpleasant side effects like suicide. <laughs> yeah, that was more like a 0. .5 out of 10. Am I right, Gramps? story. What is crappy pasta compared to creepy pasta? Um shit dude, I don't know. Uh oh, oh you know what I should do? I'll look at my rating to find like the creepiest. The creepiest There you go, based on the true story. Oh wait, what's micro pasta? Man, we're getting real deep. I'm learning all the, the words I didn't know. 
Hey, our dirt looks like dirt. We've made so much progress while sharing so much joy. <laughs> It started as a leak. The rainy season began in early summer, and June had been no exception. It, it did not surprise the man when he discovered rainwater dripping from his dining room ceiling. Shrugging it, <laughs> shrugging it off, he placed a tall pot beneath the leak and expected it to stop on its own. However, it <laughs> rain. Before he knew it, the pot would threaten to overflow. First thing in the morning, and straight after you're going home from work. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Eventually, you begin to notice what water damage in the surface of the leak. The white ceiling had discolored, turning a dull shade of brown. He checked the weather and realized that it would continue to rain sporadically over the next 10 days. The man was worried about the ceiling mildewing became an expensive repair, so he called the lo local handyman. <laughs> Fortunately, the man could not sign the repairs done. Only his landlord could. It was a frustrating policy, and the man called his landlord but could not reach him. He left him a few voicemails detailing how the damage was becoming progressively worse. The man was clueless as to why his landlord would not return his calls. They usually get the bit. He usually kept in touch, speaking at least twice a month. Finally, he reasoned that he would not be held accountable for any damage sustained. Good reasoning. Especially when you're dealing with a slumlord like that. The pose was a yawn, by the way. <laughs> I know, this is exhausting work. I'm sorry I'm what putting you through this. <laughs> you <gotta pull> <laughs> One a... night, the man was startled awake by a mess of thump. Again. <laughs> then the man will start awake by a massive. Thump. Oh. <laughs> he quickly turned on his bedside lamp. It was vaguely he could see an overturned th table and a large shape laying across it. He sprinted out of his apartment and called the police. Gagging at the smell. <laughs> the man sat at the PlayStation with the blinker wrapped around his shoulders and a coffee mug resting resting in his hands. He did no one thing. There had been a dead body <laughs> in the ceiling, and the water had saturated so badly that it came uh... into the way. So far the body was unidentifiable due to the rainwater and was being autopsied. While the while the man waited, he called his landlord and finally reached him. Panicking as he explained the situation, his landlord was just as alarmed, and the man pleaded for him to come down to the station while he made a statement. The man paused and the detective crossed over to him, and he lured his phone. Wondering if the body had been identified, his blood ran immediately cold as he shook his head with terror. The body belonged to Dick Thompson, his landlord. Oh he my died over God. a year ago. That's not what disturbed him the most. If his landlord was dead, then... Who was pretending to be him? Oh my god. This is so creepy. <laughs> is that the end? <laughs> yeah, that's the end. Amazing. It's horrible. Who was I pretending? Think they're all horrible. I think that's the point, though. <laughs> yeah, Slender Man would be good. This is the good slendering hour. <clears throat> I don't know. Something about like the video game ones I enjoy the most. I don't know why.
Yeah, man, you're 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 in the driver's seat as far as uh, spooky tales yeah, goes. The not so big. <laughs> Look, you never see if it's even worth reading. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Telling you, man, we gotta get into this creepy pasta writing business. Dude, I don't even know what I was saying. The last word, it like cut out. Yeah, a little bit. It's, I, I mean, I haven't noticed it too much. The cutting out. I'm going to write Hall Halloween Forever creepy pasta. Yes, and please. Nasty creepy pasta. <laughs> I think I've already like written it a few times. <laughs> Just talking about it. <laughs> I was on, I was on, itch.io, an independent games website, one day, and it was around Halloween. And I was thinking, gosh, I wonder if there's a spooky video game for me to play. So, since I love Halloween, I typed in Halloween into the search bar. Little did I know that there would be a game with Halloween in the name. I couldn't believe it. I I know about all the indie games except I had never heard about Halloween Forever. This must have been a sign. So I downloaded it. It cost two ninety nine. <laughs> and on and on and on. And then like jack o' lanterns talk to you and you can't sleep at night. You get real spooked. Keep going. I, I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see where was it so I installed the game it ran like a charm it was great I played as the pumpkin man uh, an adorable pumpkin shaped humanoid and he spat candy out of his mouth it was super fun and it was full of ghouls and Jason Voorhees and necromancers and, and everything was going great, but I think I might have had a glitched copy, because every uh, every couple minutes the screen would flash red. But it was okay. <laughs> What's going on? Your audio got spooky all of a sudden. Oh, I made the grass the wrong color. Shit. It was okay. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> Do you want me to continue? I was trying to put the microphone in the earphone to see if it would repeat your audio back to your filter. Oh, I think I heard that a little bit. We might we might cross the streams and the internet might explode if we keep up that dark magic. It was super quiet though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was really quiet. Yeah. Uh, uh, keep, tell the full story. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I kept playing and I saw different levels and everything was great, but the screen kept flashing red and I thought, gosh, I must have a glitched copy. This just seems really weird. So, <laughs> I kept playing and I saw it. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear the audio. <laughs> I must have a glitched copy. I can't speak and listen to myself at the same time. <laughs> now I have become the anxious kid. Halloween Forever has made me into the anxious kid. The necromancer had his revenge. The end. Ah, oh, it's so spooky. Now I have become the anxious kid. Halloween Forever has made me into the anxious kid. Necromancer had his revenge. <laughs> okay, I need to read that. 
how would you what would you rate that if you found that on uh, creepypastas.com? dot com? As a as a as a first draft, give me give me a, a couple nights to <laughs> to, to edit. <laughs> um, probably at least a two out of ten. <laughs> That's great. It's a great place to start. Can only go up from there. <laughs> you sound. <laughs> That's so hilarious hearing. The uh, insecure kid rate a creepy pasta because he sounds like he's an expert. <laughs> yeah, I spend a lot of time reading creepy pastas. I kind of know a lot about it. <laughs> it's my favorite creepy pasta, but it's 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 decent. It's decent. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true connoisseur of the of the of the medium. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> it's it's a little loaded content. I'd say it's like Angel Hero of Creepy Pasta. What I, what I like is I like a nice uh, creepy ZD if you if you catch my drift. <laughs> yeah, is, there, is that like a rating scale? Like what kind of pasta? Especially good. I like to say that's a more. <laughs> My face is gonna hurt tomorrow from laughing this much. <laughs> I'm already getting a headache. This is great. What is especially shocking? That's Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, creepy pasta. <laughs> I don't know any other Italian. So. Mo molto bene, uh, creepy. Now that's a spooky pasta. <laughs> We're doing on time. It's not even it's not even ten thirty yet. Holy crap. Hear, can you hear yourself? With all the music, you can hear you like your hands moving on the. Whack them! Oh, yeah? Am I. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah, whack I can hear them on the tablet? <laughs> yeah, well, the thing, the thing with the new microphone is it's not a. Um, it's not on my headset anymore, so it's more of like a. Like an all-around sound, so I was probably. The stories I was talking while listening to myself. Oh God! How could you not crack the hell up every time? Exposure. Yeah, unstable is. He's uh, definitely one for the books, though. Orc. This is orc. Orc is pretty good. I, I wish we could customize my own. Orc sounds like. He definitely sounds like witness protection program. Like I'm. Like you just got out of filming, America's Most Wanted, and you were an eyewitness. Orc sounds. Yeah, orc also sounds like a happy man. Who's like, just went up a flight of stairs, like, hey, 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 hey. No. I'm a heavy man. Really heavy. heavy man. 
I just had to climb up a flight of stairs because it was an elf downstairs. And elves are terrible. God, I love being an orc. <laughs> are you pulling pee? I feel like I hear our... <laughs> That's you just heard our. Background. I think you just heard the toilet flush. Yeah, man, that's that's what the basement sounds like. I'm in my private little dungeon, and the dishwasher's running upstairs. I could turn some music back on if you if you want to try that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember the parrot videos. I can't remember the name of the thing though. That's hilarious. You're probably gonna hear parrot. the. You can hear the furnace kick on in a minute. A I hate the parrot. What if I'm doing like normal feely things? That sound will come across. Yeah, the furnace is really loud. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna have to figure out a little bit of like set up like a little sound dampener behind me or something. Pardon the dust, my unprofessional streaming studio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, get off in your house. Yeah, well, I already turned the dehumidifier on. Or off, that's when my glasses are fogging up. I'm just sitting in a clammy, cold, noisy basement. I'll turn the volume down on the furnace. Just me or did some of that creepy poster actually creep me out? Or creep you out? Um, I haven't really read one yet that is at all scary. They're all, like, to some degree, kind of, like, laugh out loud, but I don't know. Did creepy you, stuff! Did you, find, did you find a creepy, creepy pasta? Is that what you're trying to confess? Well, hold on to your beard. This one's gonna creep the shit out of you. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so spooky. Hold on to your butts, we're in for a creepy ride. Hey, let's see. Um. <laughs> Man, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was really creepy. Oh my god. Oh, we can't hear all this creepy ghost already in this. Oh, by the way, we never saw. <laughs> Oh no? I was gonna ask you how it was. I'm sorry I wasn't able to join you guys. I would have liked to go see it. Yeah, well, we didn't see it, so I can't tell you. I don't, know, I don't know what's the difference. <laughs> one's creepy, one's crappy. Video bosses? <laughs> oh, video bosses! Actual videos! Oh man. Not prepared for that kind well, of content. I want to see what happens when I make my voice deeper. If it makes a difference with this voice. <laughs> okay. These are 
No, I didn't read that. You could read that. That would be pretty good. <laughs> Tales of the, the plight of the dwarves in Hollywood. I will. I'm, I'm going to read some of it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you eating a snack? Is that? Oh, the ghost seamus! Rodney Amateur? Something like that? <laughs> there. Yes, it was fine! No, it's okay. I was eating some dry roasted edamame. You're making me hungry. That, that crunchy, high pitched edamame. <laughs> well, I don't want to turn the microphone, so hold on. No, you can eat. That's fine. I don't want to deny you your your uh. <laughs> I don't want to deny your anxious sustenance. <laughs> I hate the sound of people chewing in a microphone. So. <laughs> okay, so you're doing me you're doing me a favor. Thank you. Who's posting Taze on Day videos the other day? Was that you guys? I can't remember what got okay. what got posted. Oh, here we go. Here's the interview. All right. Who was the fuck? Yeah, that was that was us. Okay. He did the Grinch. Uh, Wait, the guy that did um, Garbage Pail Kids directed the Grinch movie. on day <laughs> I was gonna say that's quite the Hollywood pedigree directing <laughs> directing Hollywood's the Grinch and Hollywood's <laughs> Hollywood's very own <laughs> movie Do you have like hotkeys for the voices? <laughs> Stable as the director. <laughs> oh Jesus! Let's speak about garbage pal kids. <laughs> I don't. You don't. I never thought about it. I didn't think about what I was doing. It. It was a payday. Don't you see? And better than that, um, it's not just a payday. It's in the complicated, I don't, I don't know much of this you want to tell. In the complicated uh, structure of guild politics, of directors guild politics, it's important that modern directors like me, and that's what I was, a modern director, modern directors like me fill their pension fund and their health and welfare. <laughs> right. Any more than a clerical worker has. We don't have the luxury of picking and choosing. So somebody says, Do you want to do this? And before the man's finished, you say, Yes! 
<laughs> I don't think I haven't done that. I mean, there are directors that say, I want to do that no matter what, and they mean it. And they either starve or successful subsequently, but they didn't have the ability, the talent, they can actually say it, they can luxury. So, uh, I did it. Took a nice payday, everybody around me took a nice payday. We all went home. That's why a lot of pictures are my leave, believe it or not. <laughs> He's just like defending himself, so okay, let's see. <laughs> this is like a real, uh, okay. a real Hollywood expose. Garbage Falcons never had a theatrical release. <laughs> well, I'm sure it did. I didn't see it, nobody saw it, but we knew it was going right to television for children's <laughs> market, you know? And that was the true purpose of it. Many times you make pictures which you know are not going to play more than a week. And nervously, you know what I mean? You make them nervously. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very hard nosed business, it really is. Don't let the film school assholes kid you. You don't really have much choice unless you make it yourself. Some people do and some don't. <laughs> unless you make it yourself. Oh, wait. Anyway, I can't tell you how many really talented people, really genuinely gifted people, do not make a living and eventually leave. Jesus. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I think we've got an intriguing question in the chat about hand washing oh, ethics. Really good stuff. Oh yeah. I don't know where he. Uh... <laughs> it's... Oh. It's a very egalitarian response. Also, when did that person post that? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think kind of recently. Yeah, I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Anyway, okay, so this is yeah. you. <laughs> anyway. Um, that the entire movie was made in sixty days. That's awesome. <laughs> and the guy says, I don't know, 60 days from the time I walked into his office till the picture was out. In other words, there was no 60 day shoot, it was a 20 day shoot. <laughs> So 60 days from being handed the idea to getting it finished? To going home! <laughs> the most important thing, going home. Hey, what is this crap? How did you do the puppets and garbage bell kids? What was the deal with that? <laughs> How what? The puppets, the garbage bell kids themselves. Well, the way they should have done it is in animations. But animation is damn, damnably expensive. It's enormously expensive. And instead of animation or animatronics, which was just developing then, which are marvelous, we did the, um, economic ex- the economical version. We got dwarves. There's <laughs> plenty of them. We got dwarves, and you know, put heads on them, and <laughs> find out how long they could survive in there without breathing. <laughs> and it turned out to be about five, seven minutes. Oh my god. So, so we had to rehearse everything without the heads on, put their heads on, and have the, uh, Humane guy, you know. <laughs> Make sure no one passed out. Yeah, not the humane guy. What do we call it? Look at the animals. So much. <laughs> the 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 um the um aid man. What do you call it? The uh paramedic, paramedic Scott. You know, a stopwatch. 
Chuckles, what a son of bitches go in there! More chuckling. Did you say action? And you shoot until they can't breathe. <laughs> God. <laughs> so good. And by good, I mean deplorable. Must have been difficult to see in here in those things. <laughs> well, I think they can see. Because those things keep sliding around away from their eye sockets. <laughs> and also, they sweat in there like, you know, like like a Pollock writing a letter. <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't good. There was sweat in their eyes, and you could hear they were muffled. It was all dub letter, you know? Is that is that improv, or is that actually in there? Like a Pollock writing a letter. <laughs> Man, that is pretty dicey. <laughs> but I'm, but it, 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 I, I beg to know more though. Like writing a letter of the alphabet, writing like a letter to the congressman. Like what? <laughs> I've never heard that turn of phrase before. <laughs> it's a good. Reason. Yeah, yeah, no, he's definitely super weird. There we go. Really? Or did this was also a Garbage Pail Kids TV show? Did he work on that too? Even though animation is damnably expensive. <laughs> yeah, nothing, I didn't know much about it. That's hilarious. Yeah, I would I would watch the Garbage Pail Kids TV show and like curse it meanwhile. Let's see. Yeah, the interview ends with him <laughs> ranting and raving about how much he like movie jackass <laughs> what's his what's his reasoning behind liking the jackass stuff the director is just talking about it <laughs> it is so funny it's stupid it's a fork it's hysterical it's hysterical you gotta go with a bunch of guys drink some beers can see this picture and you will laugh. <laughs> Sophomoric. <laughs> I love that he still uses like 25 cent words after I, talking I'm about exactly the right sort of friends to go see this movie with. <laughs> that sort of friends, your wife isn't happy with them. Believe me, she cannot be happy with them. Maybe she's <laughs> stringing you along and telling you your desires, but believe me, women, this is the enemy of women. This is the most misogynistic thing I've seen in years. But never mind all that. It's terribly bad taste. Horrible. And it's... You scream aloud. It's so funny. I haven't left it aloud in years and years and years. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the end of the interview. That's great, man. It makes me want to watch Garbage Pail Kids and J Jackass, both. I <laughs> 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 should get Kim to come out here so we can see how she sounds. Yeah. I bet she would have some some choice choice words to say. Oh, waddle up here. She can 
<laughs> Waddle up here. <laughs> Is that you, Kimbo? <laughs> you sound like a tiny ant. Like a little, little, little insect. Given his, his voice a break. We've been chatting up a storm. This page is almost done. Cool. Let me try my deep voice. <laughs> hey, whoa there. My manly voice. There's a real man on the stream now. Woo. those bassy tones. <laughs> God, I feel sexy. So tell me what's new, Mr. Real Man <laughs> Macho. a real man up to these days. Oh, we're not allowed to use swear words here, are we? Um, I mean, you, you can you can use some words. About to quote Buffalo Bill. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Make sure you tuck first. That would be in poor taste, but I would probably laugh, so go for it. <laughs> uh, this one's called female to male. <laughs> female to male. Sounds, sounds pretty natural. So this is supposed to make you sound like a man now? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> it just sounds like a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> Welcome to my steam. Talk to tranny is live all night. Toll free after the first five minutes. <laughs> Imaginary monsters tranny talks. <laughs> oh man. I fuck me. <laughs> Hilarious. That's something that I want to do. I, I wonder if people do this on Twitch or something, uh, like watch a, watch a movie and do live commentary of it. I feel like that could be fun. Not that I'm going to try to be like Joel Hodgson or something, but 
maybe it would just ruin watching a movie, talking through it the entire time. There goes that dang furnace again. Uh, yeah, doing our own um, MST3K. Yeah, I feel like it would be cute, especially with the dum dum voices like these. <laughs> Kim, you should try uh, Alien Interceptor. I think that one would suit you pretty well. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, you should check out our internet stream. We're going to be watching movies tonight and talking about them. It's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> I am the alien infiltrator. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my planet. <laughs> alien infiltrator. Oh, I need to turn these on. <laughs> These are perfect. <laughs> this is this is hands down number one stream. My bet the my best night doing this so far. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to be invaded. Zero power twelve. <laughs> <laughs> and then like the laughing just sounds like crying it sounded like we had a little voice change who am I talking to now have you ever listened to Longmont Potion Castle <laughs> no what is that Sounds good though. <laughs> uh, Longmont Motion Castle is uh, a guy that does <laughs> great calls using uh, voice effects like this. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I'll probably listen to that. That's really great. That's a good recommendation. Pro tips. <laughs> Pro tips from the alien infiltrator. So, alien infiltrator, what do you like infiltrating the most? stream just got PG-13 rated. It's just one of those pig-13 pig streams. <laughs> and, that, and that's when you switch back to the transvestite voice. That's like a gotcha. <laughs> Female to male. <laughs> it feels right. Can I quote you on that? <laughs> it just feels right. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Hello. 
Oh, this one's male to female. <laughs> you sound like a dainty cam. Oh man, I'm crying again. It's so funny. Yeah, Unstable Kid <laughs> definitely has my heart by far. I don't think I've heard anything better than Unstable Kid, but they're all awesome. They're all good. Let me see if I can. I'm not gonna turn the. I'm not gonna turn the. <laughs> loud yeah, that ass. is my fave too. <laughs> Faves. I'm just gonna put some baseline music on. I think we're almost done, but I just wanna. Cut the cut the lag silence in between a little bit. Get some perturbator. Let me know if it winds up being too loud. On top of the stuff. Yeah, man, let's rock out. That's quiet. That's good. I just need something. Baseline something. So Kevin was saying you guys didn't get a chance to go see uh, you didn't get a chance to see the movie Krampus it's too bad Krampus yeah, yeah we felt like laying around well I felt like laying around <laughs> Laying around, playing with their voice modulators. But I do want to see it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tablets doing dumb stuff. But yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out while I'm doing this. You guys are like my number one, number one buds for sticking around for the stuff. I'm having a lot of fun. I don't know if you're having fun. Number one fan <laughs> from beyond the grave. <laughs> Oh man, Kim, you wouldn't be interested in reading a, a little bit of creepy pastas, would you? I don't want to twist your arm. <laughs> oh hell yeah, I'll read some. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> oh god damn it. Get mad spooky in here again. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Oh, I've been like super cold down here before. Now I'm been very warm this time around. <laughs> All the laughter and the and the creepies. Hard to gauge what it's gonna be like sitting in your basement for a night. Yeah, Kevin might be able to recommend one or two unread, unread tales of merit. I 
I haven't looked at the, the YouTube link that Kevin sent. Do you know what that is? Alright, bear with me here. No problem. Oh yeah, that that link was the uh, horrible talking parrot. Oh, thank goodness. That'll keep me up at Sounds night. Sounds like he's broken. <laughs> that horrible parrot. <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy our uh, YouTube <laughs> watching get together nights. Those are pretty pretty choice. Remind me not to do color comics again. This is tedious. Every child's fear. You remember the feeling, don't you? The feeling that you're being watched. That if you make the slightest movement, you're dead. Everybody had that fear as a child. Did they? <laughs> I don't know if they did. get back to sleep, shuffling back and forth from one uncomfortable position to the next. <laughs> shuffling in bed. Hoping to find a way to sudden slumber. You give up. There's no way you're going back to sleep anytime soon. So you simply turn to your side and stare out the window. <laughs> sudden slumber, please take me. Oh my god, who writes this stuff? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the road, the lights, the trees, all seem so strange under the cover of night. You try to keep your <laughs> you try to keep your mind quiet of any distractions. <laughs> Remembering that you still need to sleep. Oh. That's when the feeling hits you. Oh no! swarms over you like an ice-cold blanket that has just been spread across your back. You remember that it is night, and that night is when fear likes to hunt. <laughs> you feel almost as if you're being watched from behind you. Can't see it, but its eyes are trained on you. <laughs> Hunting this poor kid. You want to move, but you can't. If you do, something bad. No, 
something horribly wrong is going to happen to you. The only thing you can do is remain quiet and still, and then maybe it won't notice you. such anxiety in these young authors. As you lie in your bed, frozen in fear, <laughs> you begin to think about your bed sheets. If only you could quickly grab your bed sheets and throw them over yourself to hide your body from whatever evil monstrosity stands behind you. <laughs> <laughs> It could be done, perhaps, if you're fast and precise. You can succeed. This is like a, it's like a self-help book. You could do it, if you're fast. You could escape your fears. Go on, give it a try. It's only your sheets. You decide to think no longer. You flip yourself up and grab your bed sheets with both hands. Without looking around the room, you swipe back, <laughs> covering yourself with a thick blanket. Safety. <laughs> Man, I remember when this happened to me when I was a kid. It's so relatable. Ugh. It is then that your mind comes back to you, and you remind yourself that there is nothing there. Darkness clouds the mind, and it causes it to hallucinate, <laughs> with the only limitations being your imagination. Slowly poke your head out of the sheets and scan your eyes around the room. Nothing. Place your head <laughs> back on the pillow and slowly drift off to sleep. <laughs> this is every child's fear, and parents always tell their children to go back to sleep, and that it is good for them to work through their fears. They are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a clincher. They showed me I was wrong. This entire time. That that sounds like a tale written by the insecure kid himself. <laughs> because what they don't know is that when the children hide under the bed sheets, the real fear is not what is standing over them, but what is staring at them from under the covers. <laughs> it's their balls. rated pastas oh mr. Matt is asking uh, I didn't draw the whole thing using a, I'm, I'm using I'm using a tablet right now um, in toast for I drew the line art on paper and inked it and then scanned it and I'm just doing you know digital coloring underneath it so but I still usually do ink drawing by hand on paper Wait, did you say you're looking at the lowest rated pastas? I think we're almost done. Oh my gosh. Oh 
Holy moly. Right <laughs> <laughs> fucking, that fucking kid voice. That's so good. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> Alright, this one consists of two sentences. Two sentences? <laughs> <laughs> I think we can fit it in. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Man, the music is a good accompaniment. I wish I had this on earlier, too. <laughs> Stop the mummified head! Estimated reading time is seven seconds. Seven seconds? In a cave somewhere is a severed mummified head. You remove your own head and replace it with a severed mummified one. You'll be imbued with immeasurable arcane power. I think that was the best yet. <laughs> I give that one a 10 out of 10 rigatonis. <laughs> Kim, can you send me a link to that, please? Just like in, on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to read that one again tomorrow and study the form. <laughs> Head and replace it with the yeah, separate no, no, one. No one gets that tomorrow. That's so reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, give, I give it five out of five paisanos. Throw in a mama pantone while you're at it. God, this stuff makes my face hurt. <laughs> Creepy pasta, the mummified head. Uh oh. Which is giving me some weird options. <laughs> I think I think Matt likes uh, Insecure Kid. That's good to know. We're doing live live peer review research. <laughs> you cut off your own head and replace it with the mummified head. It will grant you arcane power. <laughs> I like it. I like it just as much. I don't know why. I like when Kevin does insecure kid. <laughs> I don't know what it is with the the dumb, super high pitched voices. They're just hilarious. <laughs> oh, I just realized that snake is checking out Pumpkin Man's bottom. This is raw, raw comics. That's so good. Unstable kid. If only there's something I could do to help you be more stable. Close to done with another page, and I, I completely forgot to upload the, the last page.
that I finished last time I was on here. So I like finished it in a day, got it done early and everything, and I didn't even put it on the website yet. So I'm going to do that tonight. And I might just post this one too since we're... Uh, since everything is getting getting done so quick. And maybe we'll finish the last page on Wednesday. I don't know. We'll at least get it started. Yay! Yeah, thank you, voice modulators, my good friends, good for job, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, kid. Thanks for hanging out past your bedtime. I hope your parents aren't angry. Uh, good luck on your good luck on your quiz tomorrow. Make sure you're turning your homework on time. Watch out for bullies on the way to school. <laughs> Wouldn't want anything bad to happen to everybody's favorite insecure kid. Don't forget, new comics come out on Wednesday. Um, I'm trying to think of other. Well, my mom says it's okay to watch watch your Twitch channel, so. Because we don't we don't do a lot of swears, is that why? Well, fuck that. Now your mom would be surprised. <laughs> Can you do some more Buffalo Bill quotes and insecure kid voice? I know. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. <laughs> Look him up on Wikipedia. That's okay. I, on I only just watched it the first time all the way through maybe three months ago, so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, Insecure Kid. It's no reason to be insecure just because you haven't seen an R-rated movie. Yeah, it's it's like a support group for for insecure kids. Don't worry, you'll be old enough to watch an R-rated movie someday. I'm old enough to watch them now. Don't don't waste your youth pining for something that you can't do yet. Remember to have fun hanging out on the playground, drinking juice with your friends. Insecure kid just dated himself. Kevin. <laughs> no one will date insecure kid. 
And that's why he's insecure. Even if after driving around town, we all begin to notice the fishy stench. It's like a Friday market. Except for the fact that no fish were being sold. The people in the town also had a really weird skin tone. Almost frostbitten and tinged to be blue. <laughs> if I recall correctly, my father said something like, These guys sure look like the sea. <laughs> they look like the sea? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, the music is good. The music is a good addition. If you guys aren't totally sick of reading creepypastas, I think we found the, <laughs> the winning composition. <laughs> I got added to We had originally planned to stay in the town for a while, but my mother and my sister were so disturbed by the creepy atmosphere and the town's denizens that they insisted <laughs> that they insisted that we keep driving and find a different town to stay the night. <laughs> what is this my 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 spooky vacation book report? <laughs> a teen a teen in his mouth. stories <laughs> oh my god all right I think we're done with this page Saving the pages. Man, look at that jacked up pumpkin man. Yeah, isn't he ripped? He looks swole. Swole. Yeah, he got swole from eating so much candy corn. Time to call it quits. There's my little, little picture in picture guy. Hi, hi, internet guy. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna switch. Press that button. Cool. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. I had a good time. I hope miscellaneous and people night. had a good time. Maybe we'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye, guys.